Hello Hypixel adventurers, and welcome back to my Road to Max series. Today we embark on a quest that takes us from humble seeds in the garden to legendary armor. Join me, Bloom TQ, as we dive into the heart of Hypixel, cultivating crops to secure the most overpowered gear on the server. The journey won't be easy, but the rewards will be legendary. Now it all began with a vision. A vision of conquering the vast Hypixel universe with the mightiest gear. This is my Road to Max series where we'll be going until we max out every skill, every collection, every slayer monster, every collectible item until there's nothing left to do in Hypixel Skyblock. But to achieve that, I needed more than just ambition. I needed resources to make money. And where better to start than the very soil beneath my boots? I started off by getting lucky and landing a legendary rat pet, getting Pumpkin Collection 29 and leveling my garden up to 13. I then went on to win my first gold in the pumpkin contest and then got Taming level 37, forgetting to press the record button when I hit 51 farming. I served visitors and got Visitor Milestone 10, but we'll talk more about that later. Taming to 38 and Beth's questline completed. I would have gotten 52 farming, but I learned that it just shows up as 100% to the next level if it's not unlocked. Carpentry 33 and 200% level up. With a handful of tools and a heart full of determination, I went back into my farming journey. Netherworts, carrots, potatoes, each crop a stepping stone towards my ultimate goal. But farming in high pixel is no walk in the park. Pests, Jacob's contests, and the race against time to keep a somewhat acceptable upload schedule added another layer of complication to my agricultural adventure. As the crops flourished, so did the challenges. Garden pests always came back to take my farming fortune. Visitors always wanted more and more of my crops to take for themselves. Hypixel was unforgiving. But with each bug in the vacuum and each visitor served came the satisfaction of progress. Trading with these visitors became a strategic game, a dance of fortune and profits. No way. That is insanely rare. Now I quickly pulled the enchanted sugar from my sacks to afford this visitor's top-notch trade. Lucking out and landing a dedication 4 book valued at a staggering 98 million, my luck seemed promising. However, realizing it alone wouldn't suffice, I wrestled the decision, keep it for personal use or sell it for a significant boost to afford the gear. Now, amid ongoing farming sessions, I was indecisive about what to do. I ended up placing it for sale in the bazaar at a hefty 110 million, perhaps too ambitious, but it was fair. Overnight, I left it there, hoping for a sale. The next day, I logged in to lower the price when... What the fuck? With pockets heavy with coin and copper pieces, I ascended the ranks of Hypixel's economic elite. The once empty wallet transformed into a flourishing empire of crops and commerce. But this was just the end of the beginning. The true test awaited as I stood at the threshold of acquiring the legendary armor that would make me nearly invincible. Now with the crappie, squash, and fermento empty of any progression value, we're set to sell every last crappie, squash, and enchanted melon block we hold. And then the moment arrived. With coins in hand and a heart pounding with anticipation, I spent millions and millions on the pieces that would soon make me a high pixel legend. Boots that danced on clouds, leggings that moved effortlessly through the ground, a chest plate that defied arrows, a helmet that whispered victory. The ultimate high pixel melee armor set.
Here we amass the winnings, reaping rewards from every Jacobs contest we've been in. As the sun sets on my island's kingdom, I invite you, fellow adventurers and subscribers, to embark on your own journey. From seeds to legends, the Hypixel universe is yours to conquer. If you enjoyed this epic farming saga, hit that like button, subscribe for more Hypixel adventures in my Road to Max series, and share your own triumphs in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. This is BloomTQ, signing off. Bye bye